Hello everybody on YouTube, uh, Brandon Parker back again this time with another Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, I took a huge break from doing Sony Vegas tutorials and I've uh, been uh, looking uh, online seeing a lot of uh, fan videos that uh, people are saying that they think are better than me and everything and they think that they uh, uh, that Vicky is superior to everyone on video editing and all that and she's really good and everything and and she's good for what she can do and all that but uh, I want to uh, give you some tips and tricks that I can show you how to do exactly what she does in her videos I showed you a little bit on one of my tips and tricks videos that I did on Sony Vegas a while back but I'm going to show you a lot more here uh, a little bit uh, in this tutorial because uh, now that I upgraded to uh, Sony Vegas 10 now so I got that version now and uh, so I'm going to show you how to use uh, Sunny Vegas 10 a little bit and and it's not much different than Sunny Vegas 8 or 9 so if you have Sunny Vegas 8 or 9 you can still follow me with this tutorial okay so I'm gonna get right into my virtual version of Windows on my Mac so go to view first okay and I'm gonna show you a little bit of uh, what I've done so far in, uh, in this uh, vi video I've done like just 30 seconds because I really don't use this as my primary editing tool and and why did I upgrade to version 10 when I don't really use this and I had Sunny Vegas 9 and and I never really use that after I got Final Cut and I have a Mac well as the reason is because um, I do tutorials on this and everything and I want to show you uh, how to edit and everything a lot of people like doing fan videos in Sunny Vegas so I like to show you a lot more how to edit and a lot of people are saying that uh, Vicky is really good at everything that she's the best fan video editor uh, that there is on YouTube to doing fan videos and all that so I want to show you that she's not the only one who could do fan videos really good and everything and I want to give you tips and tricks on how she does her videos because I know exactly how she does them so I'm going to show you what I've done a preview so this is what I've done so far and it'll only let you like or preview like a few seconds or so so you won't be seeing all of it all 29 seconds that I've done so far so you only see so far I'll only show you like like up to like 15 seconds and then I'll show you the other half afterwards okay Okay. okay, there's that half, and I'm going to talk about that half as I showed you the preview of uh, the first 15 seconds of what I've done so far. So, uh, as you can see in a lot of my tutorials, I, I showed you that uh, the smaller that you make the clips and everything, uh, the more that they're going to uh, flip to the uh, next clip and everything. And the smaller that you make the transitions, the faster it's going to transition to the other clip. And I showed you that already. And... Um, Let's see, and the coloring that I did so far, uh, okay, let's see, let's see, the coloring I did so far, okay, what I did is kind of like a little trick, I lightened the first, like the first uh, track, which is uh, lightened, so I'll go to here, to my track effects, and I'll show you that I have color balance, I have granite map, oh, hold on, I'll show you I have, uh, first, well, mostly what I do is I like to get a, I add black and white, make it black and white first and then what I do is I add a color corrector to it I go to the black and white and I just add a black and white all the way to the full amount and then I go to color corrector and what I do with the color corrector is I just play around with it till I find a color that I like and what I did so far is I just left this part the low color I left that I left that alone and all I did was just add a little bit of blue a little bit of right in here you could see it go to here Okay, right here, and what you could also see is like a texture that I have on the video, and I like to add textures because it makes the video look pretty cool and everything. And I sharpen the texture and everything. I just went all the way down here to sharpen it, and I just added effects. Okay, I'll go down here. It's in sharpen. Like we're sharp right there. They're sharpened, and I just added a, a sharpen as much as I want just to get it to where I was looking for that made it look really nice I added that for the texture and then the color I just added a black like I said black and white then I added a color corrector then the color balance I just played around with it a little bit and then I played around with the gradient 
just a little bit. And that's what I did here. You could see the settings a little bit. I'll zoom in on that so you could check all my settings and everything. And uh, um, right there, this is what I did. Is I just changed the brightness and the contrast and everything just so that it can stand out a lot nicer. And it can be... I do that a lot of times because I'm really good not only with uh, video editing and doing color. The reason why I'm good with coloring and all that is because I'm really good with Photoshop and everything. So that's why I can do really good with coloring and all that and good with textures. It's because I treat it like, I, like I'm like i doing something like in Photoshop instead of just uh, just doing a video and I treat it like that, treat them together. If you're really good in Photoshop, you're, you can be pretty good with coloring and all that and textures with the uh, Sony Vegas or, or if you have Bono Cut or whatever, if you have a Mac or depending on what you're using and it's pretty nice to do that and what I just did there is uh, I just dragged the clip on in here and if you want to get it off if you accidentally drag something in there make sure you click on one of these little dots like right there and then it will or like yeah, the top dot make sure you click on it and then drag it out and it will come back out and say that you like lost like this like you uh, say you lost it like uh, not like this but you lost say you lost like this and I showed you this in one of my other tutorials but in the middle and this is like a tips and t tricks tutorial so I'm just showing you uh, some tips and everything and uh, it's kind of like a basics for those who are new to Sony Vegas and have just gotten to Sony Vegas number 10 so uh, if you lost, like lost one of these down in here so I'm going to try to get rid of it say that you just say that you close this like the video track or will close that and you lost it then you lost that. Now you're gonna go into uh, you're gonna go into let's see view. You're gonna go into the view and you're gonna uh, look for uh, what you just like you just knocked out. Like you lost your video. You lost all of that. It's and you're gonna go to look for it. It's let's see. It's go to where is it? It should be in. Um, okay, you got your transitions there. You got your video preview. Okay, now it's back. Now you go to the trimmer and you go back to the view and look for the trimmer where is it right here and now your trimmer's back see this now it's gone now it's back because you go back to the trimmer okay and this is gone and now it's back you go to the view okay and boom okay boom and now it's back boom boom and that's that how you get that to come back because a lot of people have been asking me uh, a lot of questions uh, in the comments and everything send me personal messages on it and that's how you do it you just go to the view and you can get your uh, video preview uh, and everything to come back if you lost anything say if you lost like a tab or whatever or you lost something that you uh, was gone if you lost one of these or whatever just make sure you go to view and uh, make sure it's checked because it's unchecked when you click on one of these X's and if you want to drag it out or whatever you just click on one of these little dots and you just drag it you can drag it out place it to wherever you want I don't let's see I know you could like uh, like let's see like change the way you want this to be set up but I never really uh, like you can change this move this around anything that has a little uh, dots right there you can move them around and you can put them to wherever you want them to be like say you want this okay out okay and then you want this down there you can put this right there if you want I think Thing depends. You just play around with it a little bit. You could have this out a little bit, just so you can view it or whatever. You just play around with it, and and if it uh, depending on which, see with the view and everything, and you just play you just play around with it, and you can move it around and everything, and and like that. And that's that, and then I'll go to view to get it back again. Okay. You know, make sure that I put it back up in here. Okay. All right, and and that's that. Okay, and uh, okay, and I showed you that I did the coloring and all that to the video and everything. And uh, mostly how I follow my beats and everything is that, like I said in my other tutorials, I just uh, uh, cut these uh, to smaller size, make the them uh, as small as possible, and then I zoom in all the way. I zoom in all the way in here. And I zoom in as much as possible to check uh, the the like the the beats and everything and all that. And I zoom in there, and uh, and like right in here, I add like uh, I go to media generators. Okay, let's 
go to where is it media generators and I go to uh, solid color and I added the solid color white for like a flash if you want to add a flash of that a little bit you can you, you, this can act as a flash if you want or you can act, have this act as a flash as a transition there there's already a transition that does a flash it does this pretty much the same thing let's see let's go to transition you go to flash and that adds a flash or you, you can add like a dissolve which is uh, well that's not really a flash but if you do like dissolve to white that's almost like a flash as well so there's three ways of getting like a flash if you want a flash you can do solid color for media generators or you can do uh, any of the transitions that I mentioned which is the fade or the flashes which is the fade through white for the flashing and then you just play around with the different ones of that and that's how you do that and uh, let's see and then I'll show you the other half that I've done so far Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and also uh, what I did is I you can also get like a instead of uh, doing a transition, say you you're doing a, like a fade through black transition. Okay, let's see, let's go to the dissolve. We're gonna go to the fade. You see this fade through black. And I'm, instead of uh, having that, you can have like a like it skip, and I'll show you right in here. Like, I'll see, go over to where it starts. Starts doing it. Right, we'll go right around here and I'll show you where this it's kind of like uh, skipping and it'll like be like kind of like a flash but it'll be black and, and if you have nothing put there and I do that a lot in my videos I, I will I'll, like skip a certain section and bear with me a little bit because sometimes uh, uh, my windows run slow because because uh, my Mac and everything and it's not my primarily uh, operating system that I use on my Mac. Okay, and I'll just go to like right about there. Just to show you just a, just a little bit. And you can see right there that I added a solid color and I made it smaller and added a flash on top of the clip and everything to act as a flash and then and it does a little bit of different tricks a little bit. So I'll go back to where this starts. Okay, then I'll show you where it uh, cuts off and shows you. Like a flash a little bit. And I kind of, uh, what I did is uh, just because you can kind of hear uh, the echo of his like voice and everything, of, of, the, of the voice of the singer. So what I did, what I did there was I uh, just added uh, these right in here. I did the solid color uh, white and I just uh, cut him down to the size that I wanted to where I can get it to come in closely and, see. and you can see where his voice is echoing and you can do it like many different ways you can like try to do it with the transitions and everything just play around with them a little bit and uh, it seemed like it, it, it executed the effect a little bit of like his voice was like echoing when when I did it with the solid color white and everything, so that's how I did that, and uh, and that's pretty much uh, it on this uh, tips and tricks tutorial. I'll be doing a lot more uh, uh, some more Sony Vegas tutorials uh, with uh, Sony Vegas 10 because I have Sony Vegas 10 now, and, uh, and that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I showed you a lot of this already in my other Sony Vegas tutorials, so I was just showing you uh, mostly just to tell you how to uh, if you like got this cut off a little bit or whatever and and you lost it one of your tabs or whatever you lost or whatever you just go to view and you just go to uh, make sure it's checked and we're gonna look for video preview and you could move it and I think you can put it to wherever you want but uh, I don't well it's not that I don't know exactly how it's that uh, it's the way you have to have this set up and, and, and stuff and and some people have gotten theirs to uh, sit down right here at the bottom or whatever but you can move it to wherever you like pretty much I see if you wanted your video preview to be on this side I guess see if it'll let you have it on this side yeah it'll let you have it over here if you wanted it over there to the left side and you just play around with it until it lets you uh, put it there if you depending on the but some people said they've got it on the bottom and on the corner or whatever you just play around until it lets you drag it on down in there 
and that's pretty much it on this tutorial. I hope you uh, got what you were looking for. And uh, like I said, I'll be doing a lot more Sunny Vegas tutorials with uh, Sunny Vegas 10 and everything. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. And see you later. And that's it.